So today we're talking with Andy Sly, a tech YouTuber and videographer based in Louisville, Kentucky. He's been driving for Uber with his Tesla Model 3 since summer of 2018, and he's currently the world's top Tesla referrer with over 270 referrals. Welcome, Andy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Harry? I'm doing very well. Thank you for coming on the podcast. And, uh, you know, I have to know, as a, a big fan of Tesla, I'm curious to know, what's the coolest thing you've found about driving a Tesla? Probably all that, all that uh, hate from the haters. Um, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, if you drive a Tesla, you know that you get a ton of, um, that it's very polarizing. But, you know, the funnest thing about driving a Tesla is, honestly, uh, I'm well, my Model 3, because that's the only uh, Tesla I've ever owned, is the simplicity and the technology in it mm -hmm. mixed together. Um, you don't think those two would go together, but the way Tesla makes their cars, it's, it's very relaxing, yet very fun. And the technology is just the best out of any car right now. Interesting. So it sort of has that nice balance of being like one of the most tech forward cars. But when you get into the Model 3, as I can attest, there's nothing really there. There's just a screen, right? Right. Yeah. And it's and so, you know, like I said, the Model 3, like if you get in an, if you get in an S or X, you notice that it's not it's probably not like that. I've never owned an S or X, but the Model 3 is just that perfect blend of minimalist and technology and i love it yeah that's awesome and it's funny too because i think the first time i saw the model 3 i absolutely hated the car i thought it <laughs> looked pretty ugly on the inside and i hated the in, or i hated the outside and the inside but the more i saw it and then you know, i had a friend that had one and i rode in it and it really just grew on me and now i love it so um i'm, I'm uh, definitely on your side now at least <laughs> how long have you had yours by the way uh so i've had my tesla model 3 for three months and i don't think i mentioned it on the Ooh. podcast since it's so new but yeah for for all of my listeners, I did get a Tesla Model 3. So this interview is secretly very selfish of me because I'm going to learn all the ropes from Andy and uh, any mistakes you make, I'm going to try and avoid. Well, the funny thing is like I'm constantly learning things about my Model 3 too, even though I've owned it for, I've driven mine like over 20,000 miles so far. So, but I'm still learning something every single day because that's just how Tesla is. Like you've, you've, it has a great community behind it too. You know, there are all these Tesla people on online, you can connect with them and you learn from them. And uh, especially with the software updates coming in constantly, uh, yeah. you know, there's constant, there's things always changing. So that, that's fun. You know, three months in, that's, that's, you're in for, a, you're in for a ride. I, I'm, I'm jealous of you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm curious to know, so you mentioned, you know, when you signed up for Lyft, they automatically qualified you for Lyft Premier. And I know it gets confusing with all the names, right? Premier and Lux and Black and uh, Select. It's hard for even me to keep track of it. But um, so it sounds like you signed up for Uber and Lyft at the same time. What was that sign up process like for you? Uh, yeah, I think I signed up for, I think I signed up for both first, at, uh, both at the same time. Um, I think Lyft is, you know, Lyft is the one I, I drive on the most because, you know, I, I'm still not qualified for, uh, Uber select yet. I haven't oh, given really? enough, enough rides. I've only given 10 rides on each platform mm. total so far. So 20 rides total, 10 on Lyft, 10 on Uber. Um, but the, the process was really easy. You know, I never, I haven't, I wasn't a, an Uber or Lyft driver before I got my Model 3. So yeah. um, it was very, very, very easy. The only thing I did not know in, about was, you know, since this was a brand new car, you still had to get a, an inspection done on it, Yeah. Uh, even though it was brand new. So I did. You know, that's the only thing that kind of out of the way that I, uh, uh, I remember doing that wasn't like that easy. Other than yeah. that, everything was like pretty much like seamless. And uh, I think they give you a little bit of time. I didn't have to get the inspection right away. I, I think yeah. they gave me like, a certain amount of time. So I was able to do that. So, uh, but it was like 20 bucks for each inspection. Uh, I really wish that like the inspection worked on both, like for, for both, you could use it for yeah. Uber and Lyft, but they both required different ones. I think, well, we've got uh, a little I, hack. I, maybe I did our, it wrong. Yeah. We've got a little hack on our website. <laughs> We're going to be publishing an article in a week or two, uh, about how to get, uh, that inspection for free and use your Uber inspection for Lyft or vice versa. So a little bit too late for you, but, um, for everyone else listening, they'll, I'll, we'll leave a link to that in the show notes and they can check it out. But that's interesting. I, I think that must be a new policy with Uber because in the past, uh, you could actually just sign up for Uber and be a select driver. And, you know, for example, like I've added um, a car onto my Uber profile and they automatically made it select, maybe because I was an existing driver. But interesting to note the differences. So 
Uh, I think uh, it, it is interesting because I think there's legitimate, you know, especially when the the cheaper, you know, Tesla Model Three comes out, the supposedly thirty five thousand dollar version. When if or when that one does come out, I mean, I think it's legitimately could be a great car for Uber and Lyft driving since it has, you know, the long range has three hundred and ten miles of range, and you know, it's got a lot of the less maintenance costs and no oil changes, and so it's. An, I don't know that it's quite. Um, I don't know. Do you think it's a great, do you think it's a, a decent car right now for Uber and Lyft drivers or is it just too expensive or what are your thoughts since you are probably a, an expert? The, the $55,000 one. Then, like, I mean, I guess the, the current one available right now is right. is about 50, $55,000. Yeah. The mid range, you know, you with the, if you were able to get a mid range, you get that $75 full. It's that's the deepest one you get. That's close. I think, um, I think, you know, like you said, the $35,000 one, if you're driving, I mean, the thing is it's got a 220 mile range yeah. and you're not going to have that hundred percent every single time because long story short with, you know, electric vehicles, you're not supposed to charge a hundred percent daily only right. on, on road trips. So you're looking at 80%, 90% max. Uh, so maybe right around 200 miles of range. So um, it kind of scares me even, even now with the 310 mile range driving Uber and Lyft, um, you, cause you don't know where a person's going. If you've right. got a hundred miles of range left and the, and maybe they go 50 miles out of the way and you, you take them to your destination. Now you only got 50 miles to get back. And like, it's kind of, you, you kind of, you don't want to get too low on your range. Um, when you're giving, you know, passengers rides, but, uh, to go back to your question, the, I, I, I think the $35,000, I mean, if you, it, you're not going to have the premium interior. So it's not like you're going to have to worry about people, uh, ruining that. And like n now I don't have a problem with people getting in mine. I have the premium interior package. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't, the only thing I just worry about is like people having things in your pockets. Yeah. Um, other than that, like you're going to get scuff marks. You're going to get people like yeah. getting, get, getting in and out of your car. They're going to slam your door. They're going to scuff. They're going to like have dirty shoes. Like I got, you can get all, all weather mats for that. That's what I got on mine. Yep. I got those before I got, so those, that's great. So if you just know going in like, Hey, yeah, I'm giving people rides. Uh, it's, you're going to have these small things. You're gonna have to keep it clean. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be hundred percent new. If you care about your car, like it's, you know, um, you want to, you want it to be in mint condition of its entire life. You don't like, I, I, I buy a car to drive it. Uh, yeah. that's why I knew when I, when I get the model three, like that was my dream car. I wanted to drive it as much as possible. And once you get it, you do, want to drive it as much as possible. It's just that much fun. And I do love giving people rides too. It's so, it's so much fun. Yeah, for sure. Now I'm a, I've got a road trip coming up to the Bay area. So it's a, probably the first time I've ever been excited to sit in a car for six hours, but I can <laughs> totally feel you there. Now, one other thing I want to talk to you about uh, that I noticed in your video is a couple of the guys in the video seem really excited about buying a Tesla. You even mentioned that one had thought about buying a Tesla. Did anyone end up uh, buying a Tesla after taking a ride with you or anything like that? I know you're the world uh, number one referrer, but I'm curious if you uh, actually uh, were able to sell any in person. It's funny because I don't know. I, <laughs> I wasn't giving out my code then. It was so funny. Like the, um, I wasn't been. pushing my code. <laughs> yeah, I should have been. Um, cause yeah, there were like there, when I look back at the video, I'm like, yeah, like every single person were they like one of the, their comments was like, man, I really want one of these now. Yeah. And so you never know, like with strangers, if they're just saying that or what. So I, you know, I didn't give out my code, my referral code to anybody. Um, and to, to those that don't know, like, you know, every Tesla owner gets their own unique referral code. And mm -hmm. if you give them uh, a friend or a family member or somebody, their code, they can apply it to their order if they order their own Tesla and they get six months of free supercharging. Uh, so that's what that's all about. And, um, but yeah, no, I did not give my code out to anybody. And I don't know if anybody bought one out. The, there was the, the one guy who he owned a Tesla stock. He was probably the yeah. best bet. He probably, he was the one that had been in a, a model S before. Uh, and he was really intrigued by the model three. So he, he may have bought one. Uh, I don't know about the others. Yeah.